Here is a great tip. When you have pivot tables and you're always appending monthly data to the bottom of a range that that pivot table references. So the way I'm used to doing it is I'll have a year to date report. Here, let's say I've got everything from 2024 and I'm through November of 2025. My normal report is just a pivot table. I take a look at you know, sales by product. I look at that profit number for all those sales and I want to look at customer level view by product of my profit. So year to date, November, full year last year, I've got 3.54 million. Let's say I've it's December, I've pulled down, or it's January, I pulled down the December data. I don't know what I'll do is I'll grab it, I'll paste it into the bottom, I'm into my pivot. Nothing I haven't, but just to show you, I'll refresh it. I'm still at that 354, but I want to be at the full year 3728. So obviously, I'm going to my pivot table, pivot table analyst. And now analyze change data source. And you can see right there, my range has ended in November. So I need to update that and get the full year range. Comes in, looks good, 3728. A lot of extra steps, potential for error there. So here's an alternative. I have got my I'll make a copy of this where I just pasted the full year. I'll take out December. I have that 3.5 million. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table of this data. So control T as in Tom, creates the table. Those default settings are all good. It'll automatically pick up all contiguous cells and you should have headers on your data. Hit OK. It'll play with the formatting there. Um, I like that. I, I like to keep the formatting. You can take the formatting off, but then I mean, you can still kind of see there's something special going on there, but I just like to keep a little formatting so that you know, it should be an alert to somebody that, hey, something unique is going on there. And then as you see that there's nothing after the help bar, as soon as I get into the range, it pops up that new ribbon. So good deal. We can insert a pivot table here just the same way we did. Took a look at customer, product, and then we just went straight into profit. Should have that 3.5 down here. So call this pivot from a table. I'll call this table data. So I've got it through November. Now again, it's January, so I'll go grab my December data, copy it in to the bottom. And you can already see that formatting automatically applied. The table design thing is here. I'm in no table design. I'm in December data. The table design is here. So the table actually automatically picks up that when you paste it underneath. 
So go to my pivot table. I have not changed the data source. Refresh. Boom. 3.728. Full year number. Including that December data. So that should save you a couple clicks and the worry of thinking about, hey, did me or my team go through and, you know, update the data source. 